Okay, so today I got a really dirty ductless unit and it's sitting here over a work desk. Um, the complaint is that it smells bad coming from the vents and it's spitting dirt on top of the desk. So you can see that here. Um, as a blower wheel starts getting dirty, it just starts spitting dirt out uh, as it builds up. You can see here how it's built up on all the fins. It'll toss it as it spins into the coil down on uh, what's below. And um, so what needs to happen, this needs a really good cleaning. The inside of this unit needs a cleaning. The inside of that coil is gonna need a cleaning. So to help me clean that, I'm gonna use the ductless bib from Speed Clean. It wraps around the unit, catches the water in a bucket, and also the coil jet. It's a portable cleaner. Uh, it's got a powered pump inside. You fill up your tank with water and then the side tank you put cleaner in there um, you want to use speed clean products this is speedy foam that's what I'm using and um, take it inside and you're ready to go so I'll show you my whole process before you start anything always find your unit's power source and turn the power off to the whole system Last thing you want, that blower motor, just start spinning while you're trying to take it off. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking apart uh, the air handler so I can access where I need to be cleaning uh, the coil and the blower wheel. Uh, so I'll just walk you through that process. But with the speed clean bib for the ductless, it goes underneath this whole compartment and you don't actually have to uh, disassemble in every situation. Uh, depending upon how dirty your equipment is, you can leave it in place and wash through that. Um, but this one's pretty messy. It's going to need me to open the whole thing up to actually get a good cleaning on it. So I'm going to do that. Once that's done, this loosens up. And then out of the top, it's just our clip in. So, on top of the air handler, you got a clip in usually here, here, here. And this will vary from model to model, but um, you can just lift up and they'll pop out. And then this whole thing can be taken outside and cleaned. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do on this is actually disconnect the drain pan. On this model, I can. Um, so I'm going to disconnect it and get it out of my way. It'll be easier access to the blower motor um, and the back side of the evaporator coil, which is covered. And, uh, but if you don't have that access, again, the speed clean bib goes all the way around the whole air handler and you can just jet through that. Um, but the more access I can give myself, the better cleaning I can do. Got it. I have the uh, drain pan hanging down out of my way so I got real clear access and there's a blower wheel you see how bad that is um, and it's just been spitting stuff out onto this desk and it can also affect quality of air and the smell in the space so that guy needs a really good cleaning and next we'll look at the back of that coil so I'm going to take three more screws out Pull this coil out from on top of the blower wheel. Okay, so I pull the coil up off of the blower like this. And um, if you look underneath this coil, this is why I'm taking it off. Look how filthy this is. The blower wheel has just been spitting onto this coil and coating it. So I got to get that cleaned off. Um, and then this wheel is going to be a lot easier to clean if I take it out. It's really easy to take this one out. Uh, there's a Phillips head down here in between right here um, There's a Phillips head that screws down onto the motor shaft So you just unscrew that and then you pull your wheel out So you don't have to take the set screw out just loosen it up enough that it can pull out and then Open your coil Just enough to get your blower loose right off the motor shaft.
and then you can take this outside and clean it where you're not going to make as big of a mess and it's just a lot easier to clean the back side of this coil with this out of the way. Plastic ends have hooks. As you can see, you can put it as high as you need, clip it in, and it holds in place. So you want to do that on both sides, and that'll hold it right where you want. It's actually really easy to knock everything off of these blower wheels. Um, when it's real bad and you have to clean that coil, I take it off of the mini split and bring it out here. Because um, a lot of times when it's sitting in there, it spins so freely that while you're trying to clean it, it just ends up spinning like this. And um, it can get in the way of getting a real direct hit where you want it. So the easiest, uh, depending on if it's real easy to get the blower wheel, so if it's real easy to get the blower wheel out, um, I usually will for cleaning it. And then I can clean the coil and everything else uh, with, the, with the bib kit um, without the blower in the way. Now these blower fins are really fragile. So if you knock them with metal, they'll crack easy. So you gotta be real careful um, when you're cleaning and working with them. Time to go in and clean that coil. And I'm cleaning it with the Speed Clean Coil Jet. It's a portable cleaner. And um, it's got water and then chemical. So you use the Speed Clean uh, foam, foam Clean Cleaner in here. And then you can adjust the ratio right, right down here. And it's portable. And I like it because it works out the perfect pressure for a mini split. Go ahead and turn the ratio to stronger cleaning solution. And it automatically mix the cleaning solution with the water from right here. Then I'll turn it back to rinse as I finish up. And then I have my different tips, wands for different application. This is your adjustable wand. You can actually bend it to get in the tight places when all these pop in and out of the gun. So let's do that. Okay, it's important on your first blast um, because that's when you have the strongest pressure. You aim down into the bib. That way you can control right where that water is gonna go. You to splash up. can't get to from the front. Take your wand right here and you can adjust it to where it needs to be. All right, everything is mostly back in place here. Got my dream pan back in, clipped in place. Everything's looking much cleaner. Blow wheel up in there. Ready for action. Now I just need to tighten the set screw 
So before the drain pan goes up and the coil gets screwed in, you put your blower wheel back in. Line it up on this end right here. And then put your set screw. So it's hard to see. Right in there. Always do a run test afterwards, check everything out. You want to make sure that your blow wheel is running smoothly, spinning smoothly. Also important, um, if you're leaving the blower wheel in and you're still spraying and cleaning, make sure you have your bib still in place around that air handler when you turn the unit on because uh, it'll spray all that water from the blower wheel out. So make sure you have the bib still in place. Uh, if you're going to clean the blower wheel in place, keep the bib on for when you first turn it on, catch all that water. <laughs>